is 7:23 this morning, and look who we have here sitting with us. We're getting to your business headlines this morning. Uh, a new segment we're starting today, right now, looking at those big stories that are happening right here in Indiana. You know Gary Dick from Inside <laughs> Indiana Business, making his debut return, a, a daybreak return after yes. some time. Well, we appreciate the time you take yeah, with us. Yeah, happy to do it. Going to be bringing the headlines from Inside Indiana Business and IBJ Media both. So looking forward to it. Yeah, great partnership you've yeah. put up together there as well. Uh, let's jump in with the rapidly changing car maker view. Yeah, it, it's the future, really. There's no, there have been doubters, naysayers about this for a long time, but it, it's here, and we saw Toyota this week announce big news. They're going to invest $3.5 billion in electric vehicle batteries over the next decade, including a billion-dollar plant, 1,700 jobs. Where will it go? They say near an existing plant. How about Princeton in southwest Indiana? Big plant down there. Uh, Indiana, perhaps in the running. The bottom line is uh, Indiana has to look at this as an opportunity to grab more investment, more jobs in the future. The question is, are we positioned to do it? I think there are those who are, would argue, yes, we are. We have Subaru up in uh, Lafayette. We have Honda in Greensburg, all focused on electric vehicles. So uh, we'll, we'll watch this going forward. Cars and Speedway also go hand in yeah. hand. And there's a really cool event going on at the Speedway. Yeah, and it's kind of related to what we're talking about here this weekend. It's the Autonomous Challenge, the first driverless competition, if you will, or challenge, will be held at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. That is a driverless car they've been testing out at uh, Raceway Park. Started going about 25 miles an hour. Now they're over 100 miles an hour. They've got 10 teams representing 21 universities from all over the world in Indianapolis, and I think, uh, you know, kind of a business angle on this is the spotlight on innovation mm -hmm. on Indianapolis. They want to get a lot of young people to see this, too, to kind of get, you know, kind of path chart careers in that direction. Too. Well, and, and nobody wants to hear this, and I'm the last person who wants to say it, but that's probably the future of the 500 someday down the line. Yeah, you know, that's right. So, How are they going to drink the milk? You know? <laughs> exactly. No no, just, just rust the robot right, right up. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm going to tell on myself, and I, I don't know if the BMV is just poking fun that I'm about to head to my sixth decade, but... <laughs> I got my driver's license renewal, and it's clear things are changing at the BMW. No question. And you think about the advantages, if you will, of having a big tech company in Indianapolis. Salesforce, regional headquarters in downtown Indianapolis. Salesforce is partnering with the BMV using technology, and they say it is reducing and will reduce wait times uh, in the branches, make the, uh, the whole process that can be frustrating of renewing uh, licenses and those types of things uh, more efficient. So using technology at the BMV. It's, uh, again, wave of the future. Okay, real quick, what's happening this week on Inside Indiana Business? On Inside Indiana Business, we're going to talk more about the future of electric vehicles. Is Indiana positioned? Could it uh, be in the running for this billion-dollar plant? Also, Abbott opening a $38 billion uh, facility. Big plants, hundreds of jobs in Westfield. And our Mary Rachel Redmond takes us to the Vintage Gypsy. This is a unique uh, operation. They provided a lot of the costumes for the Jackie Robinson yes. uh, movie, 42. So she's going to profile that. And coming up this weekend in the IBJ, the Mike Carroll, the late, great uh, civic leader Mike Carroll. They're going to announce the winner of that very prestigious award. Jam-packed first three minutes with you on Daybreak. Big show coming up as well. That's yep. Gary Dick. We appreciate the time this Happy morning. Happy to do it. It is 726 right now.